My name is Dennis Speed, and on behalf of the Schiller Institute, I want to welcome you to today's conference, America Needs a Mass Movement for Economic Development. Let's join the BRICS to rebuild the world economy. For those of you who are attending the conference for the first time, the BRICS refers to Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, and the Schiller Institute's campaign to cause the United States to accept the offer extended to the United States by the BRICS nations, and specifically the nation of China, to join the, the, the BRICS nations uh, in a campaign for world economic development and the creation of a new economic platform. Today's conference is also being watched uh, and simulcast to many other locations around the country. And also, we have international pre uh, uh, participation in our conference. In specific, we have a greeting today, today's conference, uh, which is from uh, the Consulate General of India, Mr. L.G. Naita, and I'd ask him to come forward now and deliver that greetings to this gathering. Thank you for inviting to participate in today's conference. We in India certainly believe that a mass movement for economic development is a great and sound idea. It was our Prime Minister, Mr. Modi, who proposed it when he spoke at Madison Square Garden last September. <clears throat> we are trying to achieve it in India, and we support it being done in all other countries as well. The oldest democratic republic in the world is the United States, and the largest democratic republic in the world is India. The United States was founded through a revolution that began in 1775-1776. The Democratic Republic of India was founded through a nonviolent revolution led by Mahatma Gandhi, that culminated in 1947, and that involved breaking of the British Empire, which was then at the end of its world dominance, having been replaced by the very United States that it had attempted to cross in 1776. Today we join you in celebrating the American national holiday called President's Day. This day is intended to call to mind the greatness of George Washington, the first president of this country, and of Abraham Lincoln, who fought and who tragically died 150 years ago this April, to preserve this great American nation. Both of these great men believe deeply in the cause of economic development. Such are the aspiration of the new India a nation whose 650 million young persons have been referred to by Prime Minister Modi as our greatest source of wealth. India, like the United States, <coughs> is a continental nation. Both nations need the most advanced form of continental rail system available in the world today. This example illustrates why a dialogue of civilization get us much further down the road of cooperation than military treaties, which are also important, but common aim, mankind are far more important. We are finally one people on one planet whose mysteries we should unravel together. We certainly hope, as you do, that Cooperation between the United States and all nations of the world result in the fostering of peace on earth and good will to one man. In this spirit, we also celebrate our President's Day and the idea that government of the people, by the people and for the people, shall, perish, shall not perish from the earth. Thank you very much.
Allah'a